so when we repeat small tasks multiple times we eventually achieve some bigger task so that is the main idea of recursion uh, right okay so in terms of programming language again someone someone uh, explained it rightly in terms of programming language recursion means suppose we have a function uh, and the function calls itself multiple times uh, or when a come function calls itself repeatedly for some i mean until the base condition is met uh, we call it recursion basically if there is a bigger function bigger task to achieve and the function is calling itself with a with a smaller set of uh, input data or what we can discuss it further but uh, a function is basically calling itself with a different data set which is smaller than the original one uh, so until a base condition is met that is that is recursion generally so uh, i mean any 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 uh, thoughts like uh, anything anyone want to add until now uh, like a, any thoughts you want to put uh, or anything to add okay i'm just opening the whiteboard uh, just let me know if uh, you can see the whiteboard Sir, could you please tell explain in Hindi and English part? Yeah, that is fine. If you, if you don't, uh, I mean, if you don't understand anything, you can always raise your hand and ask, right? Uh, that is fine, yes. I am comfortable. Uh, I try to, yeah. Uh, pardon? Yeah, I'll try to explain it uh, in Hindi and English both. Like, uh, I'll try to... Uh, I mean, beach me. I will also be explaining in Hindi sentences. But uh, if you don't understand, if you don't understand, if you don't you can uh, ping in the chat or you can raise your hand so that I will note down and uh, I'll raise your name to let you speak. Okay, Fine. Sir. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is my uh, whiteboard that I'm sharing? Can you all see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Uh, so let uh, let us start understanding recursion with a simple basic uh, function right uh, the basic as basic as possible suppose we have a function uh, let me oh. suppose we have a function uh, a of n okay my hand writing is bad okay so a of n is a function that is calling uh maybe let me open a talk one second Okay, can you see my screen where I'm sharing Google Doc? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, suppose we uh, let us take a function uh, a of n, right? And this this is calling. Uh, I mean, this is basically executing few lines of code. Uh, if n greater than zero. It is printing, printing n, and it is calling a of n minus one. So this is a simple recursive function. What it is basically, uh, if if n it is if n is greater than zero, the input that it receives is greater than zero. It is printing the value, and it is again calling uh, the same function. With a reduced number, right? So the input is reduced, so it is smaller than the actual one. So this is a recursion because it is. So there are two conditions that you have, you always have to follow in recursion. A function has to call itself, and the input has to be less than the original input. Fine. So these are the two conditions. So the two conditions are met here. So this is a recursive function. 
and there has to be a base condition when the recursion has to exit right so uh, basically like if you have like you if, if you write a function like a of n if n uh, let us say in, in greater than zero you are calling a of n so your input is not reduced so you are doing this so this is not a regression this is just a loop like it, it is infinite loop so a of n is calling a of n and a of n will again call a of n so it's an in, infinite loop there is no no way this program is going to end right so there has to be always a base condition or a termination condition when the loop or the recursion exists uh, exit so here the base condition is when n goes less than zero or equal to zero the re the recursion will uh, will exit right sorry for that yeah so now the recursion will exit when the condition is met that is n condition is not met that is n becomes zero or less than zero right so this is this is a simple recursive function uh, which is calling itself and there is a base condition and the input is being reduced step by step uh, like uh, so you i mean this uh, any anyone like anyone has any doubt with uh, uh, understanding why how this is a recursive function or are you clear like this why why this is a recursive function uh, Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, so yeah, we are trying to. Uh, I mean, there are three. Uh, there are two couple of conditions that are met here. So, the first condition is we or uh, the function, koi bhi function. If a function calls itself. You can think that it, it is recursion. Like, yeah, baby function is calling itself. This might be a recursion, but there has to be one more condition met. That is the base condition. Base condition. Or there has to be some termination condition. Basically, like there, there has to be some termination condition. So this function, uh, dono condition ko follow karta hai. So that is the reason this is recursion, but this function is not recursion because there is no base condition where this function, in the, I mean, this function is getting terminated. So that is the reason this is not a uh, recursive function. So uh, like you're clear, right? Why this is recursive and why this is not recursive. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah, please. Sir, can you please zoom in a bit? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, is it visible now? Is the font fine now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, so this is a recursive function and this is not a recursive function because of these two conditions, right? A function is calling itself. Here also the function is calling itself, but there is no base condition here. like. This is not going to terminate uh, any any time, right? This is going to run forever. This function is going to run forever because there is no termination condition. So this is not a recursive function. While there is a termination condition here where n gets equal to zero or less than zero, the recursion will exit, right? So there is a termination condition. That is that is why this is recursion and this is not recursion. Fine. So now coming coming to the recursion, right? There can be two kinds of recursion. Uh, so sir, suppose sir, terminate yeah, karne, yeah. terminate करने का मतलब कि हम लोग उसको condition दे के stop नहीं कर रहे हैं. Yeah. तो termination का मतलब ये है कि uh, आपका function call हो रहा है. मतलब if एक function है and वो function uh, it is calling itself. Yes. Uh, but uh, there has to be some point. Uh, a function call exit hona hai na? like uh, th there has to be some exit condition yes so yaha pe, if you if you see right yaha pe a is calling a of n a of n and again the a of n will execute it will again call a of n yes. like it, 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 it terminate 
टर्मिनेशन कंडीशन क्या है यहाँ पे एन माइनस वन एन माइनस आई हैज टू बी हैज टू बी इक्वल टू और लेस देन जीरो राइट राइट सॉरी दिस एन माइनस आई सो एन माइनस आई हैज टू बी इक्वल टू और लेस देन जीरो दैट इज वेन ये ए रिकर्शन टर्मिनेट हो जाता है तो यहाँ पे वी क्लियरली हैव एन आंसर राइट सो एन माइनस I has to be equal to or less than zero, so we can take the base condition that is equal to zero. So this this uh, term in I mean this uh, recursion will exit after i iteration. Where, where so यहाँ पे ये simple equation है i equal to n right. So this means like after i iterations, that is after n iterations, this recursion will exit. So हम I mean, uh, we clearly know that there is a termination condition for this program, right? So here, after i iterations, our recursion exit will happen, and there will be some output finally. Uh, you got it, or anything? Sir, i come to kind decrement increment like that. Uh, pardon? Sir, ha, i i. I को हम decrement नहीं कर रहे हैं। I mean I didn't get your question. Hey sorry, can you repeat your question? Sir बोल रहे हैं कि मतलब यहाँ पे I के कोई decrement increment नहीं कर रहा है। No n को decrement कर रहा है। No n is our input right here. n को हम decrement कर रहा है and uh, n minus one is getting called. So after one iteration n minus one is getting called. so similarly after i iterations after i iterations a of n minus i will get called right yes sir <coughs> yeah so suppose hamara assumption ye hai ki uh, after few iterations this will terminate terminate ho jata hai matlab after n minus 1 ka iterations it terminate kab hoga when n, n greater than 0 right n is the input so input yahan pe after i iterations this input will be n minus i right yeah so when n minus i becomes less than or equal to 0 when this condition is met hamara recursion terminate ho jata hai so we can take the base condition like when you know n minus i equal to 0 our recursion will get ex uh, exited so it it means that after i iteration which is hamara hamara equation se i is going to be n right so after n iterations our recursion will exit so we clearly have an answer like what is the exit condition for this so this is this is uh, this is a certain answer right so that is the reason this is a recursion so we can take few examples like we can take more examples so as and when we learn more right uh, so basically uh, yeah if you are clear uh, like with these two conditions right i can uh, maybe ping in the chat or I, i'll keep it at the top so i will remove everything so these two conditions has to be met for a recursion fine so now uh, suppose there is a function a of a of n and this pro uh, this is a function that is executing suppose few lines of code we can call 
maybe let us say printer we, we are printing n printing n and then there is some lines of code which is doing doing some some piece of execution and at the end we are calling uh, a of n minus 1 so this is is this a recursion or not can anyone say like is this a recursion like don't worry about the syntax yes, or the language yes, it's just a plain language yeah. so this is a recursion not so because uh, okay. their condition so, is not which condition not sir i think we uh, yeah so this is our condition is not met base condition is not met so this is not a recursion correct so yeah ye recursion to ho sakta hai na waise but yahan pe hamara ye function jo hai wo hang kar jayega stack over uh, oh, that means it is not, it is not ending right so when hamara yes. function jo hai hang kar raha hai matlab it is not ending so it is not a recursion Sir, but we called it uh, this function as a recursive yes. function right no we didn't call it i am just asking whether this is a recursion or not so hamara uh, function mein ye ho raha hai ki we are just printing some uh, printing the value of n uh, or yahan pe jo bhi some, there is some code that we don't know some code is getting executed and we are calling a of n minus 1 so n minus 1 i mean it can go right n minus 1 n minus 2 it can go to up until anything so we don't have any base condition so this is not met so this is not a recursion so to make it recursive uh, we can add a condition this condition n greater than 0 uh this is a recursion now so yahan pe hamara base condition clearly set hai uh, like n is a definite number and uh, we are printing we are executing this piece of code as long as n is greater than 0 so there will be some point of time n goes less than 0 so this is a recursion right uh this is is this clear like this is a recursion now now let us consider another function so uh yeah so what is the difference between these two functions can someone tell me yes sir uh, the second one is sir, sir it is like a backtracking function like uh, uh-huh. like we uh, like when function is uh, like when function is uh, coming out of the uh, stack uh, when mm-hmm. we are calling the function it is moving inside the stack but where uh, uh, just the, don't the make printing it and the execution like, Uh, sorry like okay, sir. Uh, just don't make, make it complex because people uh, we try to we'll just look it from the basic idea right so uh, just no, sir, in layman this, just basically what yes, is the sir. difference between these two functions sir uh, in starting the code uh, the execution is done and then the uh, function is called and in the okay. second one the function is called first and then the printing is done after the uh, like execution uh, after the execution of okay. that function correct so that is the main difference so here in this function what happens is recursion uh, so the execution happens execution happens first and then then the recursion is called recursion is called right but here it happens the reverse the first recursion is being called then the execution is happening right then the execution uh okay so there is a name for this functions and there is a name for this function so basically here as you see the recursion is happening at the end end of the program so these these recursion functions are called tail recursion tail recursion this is called tail recursion basically and since here the recursion happens i mean recursion recursion functions are called at the head at the beginning of the program these are called head recursion okay uh 
is this far, is this clear like what is a tail recursion and what is a head recursion yeah like we can take some examples uh, this is a tail recursion and this is a head recursion because here as you see the recursive function is getting called at the end of the code and here the recursive function is getting called at the beginning of the code so this is called if it is called at beginning of the code it is called head recursion if it is called at the towards the end of the uh, code it is called tail recursion fine uh, so we can take some example like uh, suppose uh, some of n we are calling uh, sum of n minus 1 uh, let us say we are just calling the same we are just returning s into s so is this a recursion no no sir yeah now is this a recursion yes yeah so yes, uh, and is this the head recursion or a tail recursion the head recursion yeah so basically we are calling the recursive function to as ki jagah n aayega na if n is greater than 10 oh sorry yeah this is so yeah this is a head recursion basically because we are calling the recursive function towards the start of the program right so that is the reason this is a head recursion uh, and contrary to that if suppose we have sir hum sir hum jab recursion call karte hai to matlab number se thoda kam hi hota hai kya matlab what decrement hota hai kya या यहाँ पे हमारा इनपुट डिक्रीमेंट होते जा रहा है पहला वी आर कॉलिंग सम ऑफ एन देन वी आर कॉलिंग सम ऑफ एन एन माइनस वन राइट मतलब सर हमारा मतलब जब भी हम रिकॉर्शन कॉल करेंगे तो वो डिक्रीमेंट ऑर्डर में आएगा जब हमारा नो आपका आवाज थोड़ा कम है मतलब सर जब भी हम रिकॉर्शन कॉल करेंगे तो वो डिक्रीमेंट ऑर्डर में आएगा क्या हाँ हाँ वो डिक्रीमेंट ऑर्डर में ही जाए या ओके या तो या यहाँ पे दिस इज़ अ हेड रिकर्शन दिस इज़ अ रिकर्सिव फंक्शन पर सो या सो आई होप लाइक दिस इज़ क्लियर लाइक व्हाट इज़ अ हेड रिकर्शन एंड व्हाट इज़ अ टेल रिकर्शन सर सॉरी टू डिस्टर्ब यू सर फ्रॉम नोएडा या 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 प्लीज या सर नोएडा � Okay, just a moment. Uh, sorry. Uh, hey, sorry. Is this fine now? Yes, yes sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, okay, it's clear. Yes. Okay. Yeah, please let me know if you face any difficulty. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope like you are clear with what is sir, head recursion. Sir, my question. Huh. Yeah. Sir, head recursion or tail recursion? What is the difference? One recursion is not done. See, it is not. It is just an observation. That's it. We are just naming it as head recursion because. there are various uh, things various differences so yaha uh, pe the difference to you might look very simple but actually this is a very big very big difference there is a very big difference between these two kinds of uh, recursive function when we when we discuss further right you will you will realize like i can i can show you one example 
uh, within a few minutes. So, yeah, there is, there is actually a huge difference between head recursion and tail recursion. Uh, basically, it depends on the use case also. If uh, if if you want to optimize some some piece of code, uh, you might. मतलब कुछ जगह पे आपको हेड रिकर्शन ज्यादा ऑप्टिमल होता है एंड कुछ जगह पे और टेल रिकर्शन ज्यादा ऑप्टिमल होता है एंड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन इंप्लीमेंटेशन आल्सो लाइक व्हाट यू वांट टू इंप्लीमेंट यस बट वी विल डिस्कस द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन हेड रिकर्शन एंड टेल रिकर्शन क्या है सो आई होप लाइक आपको हेड रिकर्शन और टेल रिकर्शन का डिफरेंस एटलीस्ट पता पता चला ना अभी मतलब व्हाट इज द मेन सबसे एग्जीक्यूशन कोड के बोल करते हैं जो हेड रिकर्शन हो गया ना सम फंक्शन है ना ये रिकर्शन में जा रहा है ना सो so, मतलब वहां पे कॉल करा दे फिर एग्जीक्यूशन आगे बढ़ा आगे बढ़ा सो यहां पे एस इंप्रेस करा कर फिर रिटर्न कर दिया हां रिटर्न कर दिया तो फिर उसके आ, बाद कॉल कहां से होगा आगे कुछ रहेगा कॉल करने के लिए ठीक है लेट अस टेक दिस एग्जांपल सपोज हम यहां पे मे बी लेट अस डिक्रीज फॉर टाइम बीइंग एंड लेट अस दैन जीरो यहां पे हम लोग कॉल कर रहे हैं सम ऑफ होगा and then again yahan pe sum of two uh, will get called right so yahan pe again in the next loop it will check n greater than 0 again it will n is greater than 0 so let us sum of 2 minus 1 will get called sir isme base case hi nahi hai undefined de raha hai no no let us see like we, 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 so yahan pe sum of two call hua and n is greater than 0 to sum of uh, let s equal to sum of 2 minus 1 will get called right so this will call sum of 1 right now sum of 1 will again call this sum so n is still greater than 0 then let s s will s is assigned with value sum of 1 minus 1 which is sum of 0 sum of 0 so now sum of 0 will call what it will call sum of n function now now yaha pe the condition has broken right yes ye sare ye value s mein store hoge right sir ye matlab s mein store hoga yeah yaha pe aap name matlab wo aur sare value store ho gaye fir yaha pe condition fail kar kar gaya aage so fir return ke andar to aayega hi nahi aantar bahar hi aage yeah so i mean by default it will always return like if you if you do even if you don't have any return statement right uh, it will it will return you false basically Uh, तो यहाँ पे हम लोग सर वो रिटर्न 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 कर रहा है 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 प्रिंट मतलब ना यस यस वी वी कैन कैन और एन जीरो करेंगे तो सब जीरो हो जाएगा ना नो सो इफ If n is greater than zero, it will execute, right? If n is so, यहाँ पे हम लोग sum of equal to zero हुआ तो return करेगा zero. वो return ही नहीं करता. हाँ, ah, that's all. No, no. यहाँ पे else condition है ना. So yeah, so let us see like sum of zero call हो रहा है. Sum of zero is coming here. So यहाँ पे check कर रहा है n is greater than zero. No, n is not greater than zero. So else condition में जाके this will return zero now, right? यस सर तो जीरो फिर ये सम ऑफ वन भी जीरो ये भी जीरो सब जीरो रिटर्न वन करना पड़ेगा सर व्हाटएवर व्हाटएवर लाइक जस्ट व्हाटएवर इट विल या यू आर सेइंग लाइक इट्स इज जीरो सो एवरीथिंग विल कीप रिटर्निंग जीरो राइट या दैट इज फाइन लाइक दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जांपल टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन दिस इज नॉट अ मीनिंगफुल फंक्शन दैट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू बट 
just to explain the difference between like head recursion and ta tail recursion uh, i was explaining you this like this is just a random function okay sir sorry yeah, yeah. Uh, so i i hope at least what is sir ek aapko request hai sir yeah yeah मतलब इसको समझाने के बाद थोड़ा सा डिबगर करके दिखा सकते हैं बीएस ब्राउज़र में हां या आई मीन इफ वी हैव टाइम आई कैन डेफिनेटली लाइक वी हैव फ्यू थिंग्स टू डिस्कस लाइक कुछ जरूरी चीज विल डिस्कस दोस थिंग्स एंड देन इफ वी इफ स्टिल हैव टाइम वी कैन गो टू डिबगर एंड सी लाइक व्हाट व्हाट्स हैपनिंग ओके सर Yeah. So basic, basically, what is the difference between head and tail recursion? You got right. So, right, sir. Yeah. So now, yeah. So let us say there is another function. Let us say this function uh, a of n. Okay. Let us say uh, let us take two function again. Another uh, previous function that is. If n greater than zero, minus one we have got. We have to take. Okay. 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 So. Uh, as you know the like uh, is this a recursive function yes sir yes yes sir okay so this is recursive recursive function and is this a recursive function yes sir no so this is also recursive function there is base condition met and function is calling itself but the function is getting called multiple times within the same function right but this yes, is still a recursive function because the base condition is still met and the function is calling itself so you can add at least once so the function is calling itself at least once so this is also recursive so uh, like uh, uh, we wanted we want to check like what is the time complexity of this function this function here so uh, like we want to I mean, I, I, uh, can anyone tell me what is the time complexity of this function, and yes. how is this different? Okay, so how is it open? Like we can calculate. So, like, let us assume, uh, like this is doing some constant. Uh, like it is checking the value of n comparing with zero, and we are doing some constant amount of work. And again, we have a of n minus one, right? Let us assume like a of n. But two to the power n is doing some constant amount of work. It's one plus, and it is again boiling times. down to a of n minus one, right? So I mean the time taken for a of n is equal to one plus a of n minus one. Time taken for a of n n minus one. So this again boils down to like uh, if after i iterations, this will this will go to i. Plus a of n minus i. So this is after i iteration. So after one iteration, we calculated that one plus a of n minus one, right? So similarly, this will go two plus a of n minus two, three plus a of n minus three. So after i iteration, this will be n minus i. So when will this stop? Like we have a base condition, right? When n is less than or equal to zero, the time taken will be just constant because it won't enter this loop and Uh, it will return undefined or whatever. You will exit the loop, right? Exit the recursion. So now we have a base condition like when n minus i equal to zero, this will exit the loop. So this means n equal to i right? or i equal to n. So we have to substitute here in this case, like i i equal to n, which gives me n plus a of n minus n this this thing this expression will give me n plus a of n minus n uh, when i substitute i equal to n so this this boils down to again a of sorry this boils down to n 
So when a of zero means it is less than zero, so this is again a constant word. So this is one, right? And plus one. So this is actually order of n. So it is pretty simple, like pretty straightforward, like uh, like few guys of you are also saying, like Hello. the order of n. Yeah. No, could you hold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Rome. दो लाइन वो मेरे को समझ नहीं आया पर ये मैं जानता हूँ इसका ऑर्डर ऑफ एन होगा ओके आपको कौन किस चीज समझ में नहीं आया ये एन लिखे मतलब ये क्यों लिखा है मेरे पे नहीं सॉरी वन प्लस ओके प्लस सी आपको ओके सो यहाँ पे मान लो कि दिस इज सो व्हाट इज द टाइम टेकन फॉर दिस लाइन टू एक्सिक्यूट सर कांस्टेंट कांस्टेंट राइट दिस इज कांस्टेंट सो लेट अस कॉल दैट कांस्टेंट एस वन और लेट अस कॉल इट एस क्यू के एंड व्हाट इज द टाइम टेकन फॉर दिस सर ए n time it is just printing yes, n printing yes, the value yes sir one here okay it is also constant and what is the time taken for this sir n minus 1 matlab time taken for a of n minus 1 right yes a of a of n minus 1 so i'm just i'm just writing this so i should have written this as time so Uh, yeah, so this is time taken for a of n minus one. So if you add up, right, like time taken for a of n, like time taken for this function, is k plus k, k plus k plus time taken for a of n minus one, right? Yes. Yeah. So can you call this? This is both constant, right? Like k plus k yes, is yes, is two k, and this is this is constant. So I have just replaced this with one, like which is constant, or you can replace it with two k also. That is fine. Two k plus t of n minus one, right? Right. So, uh, or this is after one iteration, right? After one iteration, I am getting two k plus t of n minus one. So after two iterations, what will I get? T of n square. No, after two iterations. Okay. Uh, so after one iterations, so I can call this two n. After two four, iteration, get four k plus two two n two t n minus one. Two t n minus one. T of n minus two. T of n minus after two after two iterations. Yes. Like everything will be doubled, so I can replace this with. Two into i plus t of n minus i. Do you understand like why is this? Yes. After two it yeah. So this is fine, right? So two of i into k plus t of n minus i. So yeah. Now forget about this. So yaha pe hamara base condition kya hai? When will this get terminated? Like hamara when when suppose n equal to zero, this can this loop will not get executed, right? It will just Uh, it will just exit the recursion, or if I have some return zero, it will just return me zero, right? Like this is a constant. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. So when n minus i equal to so after n minus i equal to zero, i equal to zero. मतलब हाँ जब हमारा ये condition meet होता है तो तब हमारा टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी कॉन्स्टेंट हो जाता है क्योंकि दिस इज अवर टर्मिनेशन कंडीशन राइट सो वेन एन माइनस आई इक्वल टू जीरो अवर टी ऑफ टाइम टेकन विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट राइट सो दिस मीन्स लाइक वेन आई इज इक्वल टू एन द टाइम टेकन इज कॉन्स्टेंट राइट मतलब आफ्टर आई इटरेशन द टाइम टेकन इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो आई यहाँ पे एन एन इटरेशन है So after n iterations, the time taken is constant. So we can substitute like i equal to n in this condition, right? Like t of n equal to two into so i का जगह पे हम n सब सब substitute करेंगे two n into k 
plus plus t of uh, n, n minus, minus n. n. So t of zero. So this comes to t of zero, right? So what yeah. happens when we pass zero? This is constant, like we discussed. So this is constant. So this comes to two of two n plus one into k, right? Yes, two n plus n one bracket one one. Okay, okay. Okay. So yeah, this has to be in bracket. So this is our constant, and yeah. one is constant. One is constant. Two is constant. So this is this boils down to order of n, right? Well, yes. n. So this is order of n. So yeah, this is how we got to order of n. So this algorithm is basically order of n algorithm. Sir, I am little bit confused in space complexity. Yes, sir. Space. Yeah, no, yeah. We will discuss that. Fine. So. Uh, uh, there are two ways we can uh, figure out what is the space complexity so basically uh, there is something called so every recursion right there is something called recursion stack every recursion has uh, so let us let us what, what can do like let us uh, let us assign some line numbers to our code uh, this is line number 1 this is line number 2 Four. Okay, fine. So we have assigned line numbers. So fine. So yeah, uh, so first uh, let us take by example. So this is fine, right? This is order of n. I can remove this. I'll copy this. Okay, so let us take by example. Like, let us see. Let us take a simple case. I'm passing a of three, right? Uh, so I'm passing a of three. So this function will get executed. So a of three. What will it call? This will call. Uh, so a of three will get executed. So it will check the line number two. It will check n is greater than zero. So three is greater than zero. uh and it will print uh 3 so 3 is printed so i can write all output here so 3 is printed in the output now at line number uh, so suppose let us say we have line number 5 here we are printing again printing n again right uh yeah so now what happens uh, line number 3 pe uh, 3 print ho gaya and then line number 4 gets executed so line number 4 is calling what uh, it is calling a of 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 1 that is a of 2 yeah so yahan pe it will remember like uh, yeah it, this is till at line number so it has executed line number 3 and It is now executing line number four, right? This will remember. So a of three will remember it is executing line number four. Now a of two is getting executed. So now a of two is getting executed. Uh, it will again check line number two. Pay n is greater than zero, and it will print n, which is two. Mm. So the output will print two. Mm. Then what happens? Line number four. Pay I go. It is two minus is one one. N minus one. So this is calling. A of one, and then it is also remembering the line number. So the line that is it is currently executing line number four. A of two is currently executing line number four, and now A of one is getting executed. It will check it now. Line number two page will check n is greater than zero. Uh, it is printing n, so one is printed. Then it is calling A of n minus one. So now. Before calling, so this is this is recursive function, right? It will remember it's executing line number four, right? So then line number four gets executed. A of one is called. Uh, sorry, A of zero is called. So A, this is calling A of n minus one, right? A of one minus one, that is A of zero. So A of zero is called. So this condition is broken now. Like n is greater than zero is broken. So, so n is zero. So this is broken now. So it will just return zero. 
right? It will return zero, and then a of zero is returning me zero. Like it is not executing anything, right? Now, so uh, this everything, right? It, it all happens in a stack. Like uh, you have a stack of memory where a of three is getting called. And then that is calling a of two. Like you understand it, the recursion is happening here. So we have to have our termination condition met over, uh, which is a of zero, right? A of zero. A of zero is getting exited because the termination condition is met, and uh, it is not printing anything to the output. It is just returning zero. Fine. Right. So now. Uh, the maximum uh, just see like the maximum amount of functions that is there in our stack is four here right like uh, okay let us see like we have four functions now and uh, termination condition is met so a of zero uh print here and then this gets exit i mean this gets cleared of the stack now right and now this is again the control again goes to a of one so a of one was executing line number four, and now after returning a of zero, uh, it is it has finished line number four. Now it will execute line number five, which will print n, which will print one, and then line number five gets uh, printed. I mean gets executed. Now the entire execution happened, and then line number five got executed. This will be cleared of the stack. Ah. And then uh, gets the control. Hey, can you please mute yourself? Ah, uh, Ramchandra, mute yourself. Uh. Okay, so A of two gets executed. So A of two is getting called. Uh, so it will remember. It has remembered like line four got executed. Uh, so now it will execute line number five. So line number five, it is printing n, which is two. Then the execution happened and this is cleared of the stack. And now line number four got executed. This will print line number five, which will print n. So n is three. So this has printed three. And the entire stack got cleared. Right. So uh like when we uh, when we saw the execution right we have seen maximum four function calls i mean simultaneously present in the stack right uh, like we have seen like four functions were simultaneously present in the stack so let us say suppose each function has so just we just have we don't have any variables at all right but still we can assume like uh, the n is holding some value so here is function there is only constant memory being used right there is no memory that is depending on the uh, what you can say we are not assigning any new variables here we are not creating any stacks or any any arrays or anything right so we can assume like uh, there is no allocation of memory happening but still this print uh, n might be referring to some constant memory location or some constant memory is allocated for these lines of code in the stack so that is always a constant because these are a static lines of code right so if we assume like uh, there is constant memory used by this function and in the stack there is maximum four functions present simultaneously, like we have seen during the call stack, right? Uh, the function execution stack. So if each function occupies constant memory and there are maximum four functions in the stack, so it means 4K, right? We, we have the maximum memory that is required to execute this function uh, is 4K, which is actually the space complexity of this function where k is the number of times or the number of functions uh, that are simultaneously present in the uh, execution stack present in the execution stack Simultaneously. 
so this is when i mean i mean 4k is when our n is 3 like you have to remember we are calling it a of 3 right hum log a of 3 ko call kiya hai then we are getting maximum of three functions maximum of four functions uh in the function in the function stack or we can call execution stack uh so the maximum i mean it all depends the the uh, what you call the space complexity of our algorithm depends on the number that we are passing here like the uh, input that we are giving to the function if our input is 3 we have maximum of four functions in our uh, call stack or execution stack so if you assume like each function takes up k amount of space that is constant amount of space because we are not assigning any new variables in the code uh we are consuming four times the constant right like 4n or 4k we can call where k is our number of functions present in the execution stack simultaneously or at at a time we have seen like maximum we can maximum there can be four functions in this call stack or execution stack uh yeah so anyone has any any anything to ask here hello sir uh yeah sir 4k means k only right 4k means k right yeah this is k so k is defined here like k is the number of the uh, uh, space complexity will be o of k right ha huh, o of k correct i mean not o of o k one, you, you can't one, you don't one, sir ये तो here here our k is constant yahan pe hamara uh, we we are not assigning any new variables so yahan pe k is constant so you can assume like this is constant time it's constant space complexity par yahan pe 3 to 1 ke baad mein so yahan pe let us say like we are assigning uh, we are creating an array array of size n <coughs> तो यहाँ पे हमारा कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी अलग ही हो जाएगा बिकॉज वी आर असाइनिंग फ्यू वेरिएबल सो वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट वी डोंट हैव एनी मेमोरी एलोकेशन हैपनिंग इन द कोर सो वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट ईच फंक्शन ऑफ ए इज टेकिंग अप कॉन्स्टेंट स्पेस तो तब हमारा एग्जीक्यूशन स्टैक में वेन वी कॉल ए ऑफ थ्री हमारा एग्जीक्यूशन स्टैक में एट ए टाइम देर आर maximum four functions residing in our execution stack four se jyada nahi nahi ho raha maximum four execution stack pe functions aa raha so we have to ensure that jab four uh, functions uh, simultaneously execute ho raha hai aur we have to ensure yeah sir isme koi assignment operator wala rehta to usme n ho jata the uh assignment operator matlab uh, suppose assign matlab to bhai bar bar this is apna उसमें हम प्लस प्लस करवाते जाते फंक्शन कॉल होता है उसमें हम कुछ प्लस प्लस करवाते जाते हैं। ओके ओके इट लाइक इफ यू यू आर आर बार इक्वल 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 सर तो भी तो कांस्टेंट ही रहेगी ना आई प्लस प्लस राइट सो What do you think? Like, is this a constant time or constant space or? Yeah, here this is not a constant because, ah, uh, okay. If if suppose you are assigning here var i equal to zero, and you are doing this, so is this a constant space or variable space?
i is equal to whatever i plus plus or i plus plus you are doing and you are initializing it to zero so is this a constant space are you no perhaps no this is not a constant so we are creating as many i's as n right sir create kare but next time mein to previous wala i to wo ho jayega na no uh, like uh, see ye same name there is some, so that is that is debatable so there is something called garbage collector that happens that will collect all your unref and unreferenced variables so sir. as long as aapka variables garbage collect nahi hua you still need that space sir but same name se do variable kaise rahe hmm i can yeah that can happen because you are in a different loop right acha different loop different. I mean, first in 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 is greater than zero. Where you are creating a variable i equal to zero. So, बाद में in uh, in minus minus हो जाता तो n का value change होता हो जाता and this will enter a different loop, right? Then i will get created again. Yeah, this is possible. Like this is simple uh, piece of code, right? Like uh, this will create i multiple times, basically. Or i, I mean, इतना उतना आई क्रिएट हो जाता है जितना हमारा वैल्यू एन है तो अंटिल एन ग्रेटर देन तो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट टाइम सपोज दी कॉल ए ऑफ थ्री फर्स्ट टाइम एन का वैल्यू थ्री है तो थ्री आईज गॉट क्रिएटेड आई मीन थ्री मेमोरी लोकेशन गॉट रिफर्ड एन एन का वैल्यू दो हो जाता है तो दो मेमोरी लोकेशन वेर एलोकेटेड फॉर आई तो या सो दिस इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट स्पेस सो दिस इज सो वी कैन एज्यूम हियर इफ दिस इज n so where n is our uh, we can call nk so where n is our input uh and our space referred is n times constant like we have n basically we can say order of n space complexity or of n so here we can assume like four function calls ho raha hai our a of 3 mein and each function is taking up order of n so our our complexity will again become order of n 4 into k into order of n where k is again the number of functions present in the execution stack or i mean 4 name right okay yeah yeah this is how k into order of n. fine so where order of yeah it no need then uh uh upendra okay. let me first so uh, uh sir suppose uh, we are uh, declare a uh, array and uh, and we are uh, nothing doing on that so the uh, the space complexity will be uh, o of n we are declaring an array uh matlab aapka array size kya ho raha is it depending on n okay uh, let's say array size is uh, will be four size of ha uh, so you are saying you have an array Yeah, of size four, right? So and like four is a constant. Yes, and we are uh, nothing doing on that. So what will be the space complexity? It is constant, right? It is constant. constant. Four is constant. Right. This this statement is taking constant space. Constant right. space, constant space. So and let's constant. say suppose, and let's say suppose we are uh, pushing a, uh, one element in next line. So pushing new element on the element to array, right? Yeah, array. Again, this you are pushing only one element. One is constant. Okay. Push one element. So this is constant. And And if we are pushing element on the loop up to the n, n up to the n, that is very. So your array size is growing with n. N times, right? Uh, n times. So that is yeah. n times. Yeah. So Minimum that will become fine. Yeah. Fine. Sir. Yeah. So Now with uh, you can. <laughs> yeah. Anyone? Anyone has anything? like uh this is important thing like we have to discuss this the time complexity or the space complexity of this uh anyone has any questions with this 
सर वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन अगर सर एन में नंबर पास करूंगा तो कॉन्स्टेंट रहेगा अंदर कोई डिक्लेरेशन नहीं कर रहा हूँ तो इस अगर मैं एन में एन की जगह एरे पास करूँ और अंदर उसमें एन में से लास्ट लास्ट पॉप करते जाऊँ या पुश करते जाऊँ समथिंग तो उस टाइम पे इसकी स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी क्या होगी क्योंकि मैं अंदर कोई एरे डिक्लेयर नहीं किया हूँ वो एरे को मैनिपुलेट कर रहा हूँ हाँ, आपका डिक्लेयर होना चाहिए आपको पता है कि हंड्रेड एलिमेंट फिट करने का अरे मुझे चाहिए तो योर स्पेस इज डिसाइडेड यूर and your function may you are not assigning any you are not creating any memory right you are not right. referring to any new memory so this function ka space complexity is constant mm. and you are initially it it depends so uh, you can but this is all fixed now right you are passing your fixed array to the uh, function as an input so the function itself so when we are talking about complexity right we are talking about the space complexity of the function not the input right right sir function is not creating any new elements or any new memory uh, references right so that is the reason if even if you are passing an array of size n the function is not creating any new memory references so that's the reason the function ka space complexity is still constant ओके सर वही चीज अगर मैं पॉलूप में भी करता इन प्लेस ऑफ रिकर्शन तो उधर भी सेम ही कांस्टेंट रहती राइट इन केस ऑफ रिकर्शन यू वांट टू यू वांट टू पॉप फ्रॉम द अरे फ्रॉम द पॉलूप आई वांट एनीथिंग एनीथिंग यू वांट टू डू यू आर डूइंग ऑन द अरे यू आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग एनी न्यू न्यू रेफरेंसेस राइट सर गॉट इट थैंक यू okay so now this is clear right uh, what is the space complexity and time complexity for uh, so one thing like you can take it as a homework uh, so we have initial function right so we have a of n uh, if n greater than 0 printing n and calling a of n minus 1 printing n so this is taking so when we have passed Three right. This is taking four times the function calls right. Uh, so you have to generalize this. Like when we pass n, what is the number of functions? So I am writing the question here for a of n. What is the maximum functions? maximum number of function that are present simultaneously in the uh, in the execution stack so there is a nice uh, a formula for this you you have to figure uh, i mean you can take it as homework read do your research and this is good to know uh, like we have only calculated it for a of 3 right so for a of 3 we have got uh, the answer as 4 so now you have to generalize it when we have a of n what is the maximum number of functions that are present simultaneously in the execution stack so there is actually a formula i can write the formula here but it is good if you Or figure out the formula, and as well figure out how the formula uh, is derived. Uh, right? Uh, this we can take it as a number. But, uh, we'll discuss this. Now. Okay. Uh, so 
like we have uh, so as you all said like this is also a recursive function right very similar we have just made one change uh, we have we are we, we were calling only once in our earlier function uh, the recursive function we, are, we were calling only one but in this in this recursive function we are calling the recursive function twice right uh, so we are just i mean this is a simple change it might seem like but let us calculate what is the time complexity taken by this function right let us say uh, so a of n is taking order of n time which is equal to so like do you all agree like this is constant time uh, do you all agree with this this is constant time. and what is the time taken for this n minus 1 and again this is constant time right okay and again is n minus 1 of n minus 1 so if we sum up this is taking k plus k plus 2 into t of n minus 1 right yes sir. 2k plus 2 t of n minus 1 so this uh yeah so now again what is t of n minus 1 so if we okay so we can replace this with constant again uh, we can write constant plus 2 into so t of n minus 1 is again uh, constant plus 2 into t of n minus 2 Right. We can write two k. So I'm just keeping replacing this two k with k. We can replace with also k because k and two k both are constant. So this will again uh, boil down to k plus two into two into t of n minus two. Right. So again, when we boil down again, this will go on. After i iterations, we can say k plus. So after one iteration, we got two power one. After two iterations, we got two power two. So after three iterations, we will get two into two into two. That is two power three. So after i iteration, we will get uh, two power i into t of n minus i uh, is this fine so this is after i iteration the time complexity will be this k plus 2 power i into t of n minus i so here what is the base condition when is this condition breaking when n gets greater than or equal to 0 right so when n becomes equal to 0 this loop will break and uh, the, the, the what you say recursion will exit so here we can submit uh, we can substitute like uh, n minus i has to be equal to 0 or yeah n t of 0 will be basically 1 right so we have base condition like t of 0 equal to 1 so which means n minus i equal to 0 which means n equal to i, right? So if you substitute n equal to i here, t of okay, the time complexity will be k plus 2 power n into t of n minus n that is 0, t of 0, which is constant, right? So this is 1, so we can replace that. Uh, so the time complexity will be t of n equal to order of 2 power n. So like I hope like this is understandable. Uh, like why the time complexity will be 2 power n. Anything that uh, I mean I Anything you didn't understand here, any expression?
understand sir yeah so like uh, i mean uh, do you all agree like why this is order of two power n like uh, how how we have arrived to order of two power n anyone uh, didn't understand this expression writing k plus two power i into p of n minus i ha sir ek bar fir se repeat kar dijiye okay fine so uh, okay so let us say uh, like base condition aapko samajh mein aaya na by t of t of 0 equal to 1 base yes, condition aapko samajh mein aaya yeah so yes sir we are trying to find out what is the time taken for t of n so t of n equal to so you agree like uh, yahan pe hamara time complexity constant hai is line pe yes sir and yahan pe what is the time complexity t of n minus 1 you agree with this yes and again yahan pe it is constant yahan pe it is t of n minus 1 right that right. yes so this this will become so k plus k is 2k which is again constant right so that that's why i'm replacing 2k with k <coughs> that's fine yes sir constant ko ignore kar sakte ha constant ko ignore kar so and this this has become 2 into t two times t of n minus i right this is fine all right okay okay sir so we have constant plus 2 into t of n minus 1 so again hum isi formula mein t of n minus 1 ko find karenge so yahan pe if we keep t of n minus 1 uh, n n ka jagah pe t of n ka jagah pe n minus 1 ko substitute karenge what will get t of n minus 1 equal to k plus 2 into t of n minus 2 right okay okay so that is what i have substituted here k plus 2 into t of n minus 2 right so yahan pe yes. 2k plus k aayega 3k and again i am replacing 3k with k which is constant then 2 into 2 into t of n minus 2 this is what i am getting you understood this okay yes sir So you understand first of all n minus 2 and after that it is the also n minus 2 and in k uh, it is uh, negligible because par parity is n minus 2 so, so k is constant so yahan pe k plus 2k plus 2 into 2 into t of n minus 2 aayega so 3k plus 2 into 2 into n minus 2 so 3k ko hum ignore kar raha hu and replacing it with k and 2 into 2 into t of n minus 2 so sir in this in this position on n minus 2 or n minus th- uh, 3 in this position next ha huh, next me what we'll get here yeah. first of all n minus 1 and after that n minus 2 and n minus 3 and continue next this n minus 3 correct yeah so that is correct so uh, after that what we'll get uh, k plus 2 into 2 into 2 into t of n minus 3 right so i am just replacing it with 2 power 3 sir aisa kyu ho rahi hai to ek bar ho gaya hai is ka 2 pe power 2 2 times add kar diya hai to in tak le ja raha hai na ise ah theek hai ah yahan pe t of n minus 2 chahiye na humko so t of n minus 2 yahan pe yahan se find karenge n ka jagah pe n minus 2 substitute karenge to what will this give सर मेरा कहना ये है यहाँ पे एक बार उसको निकाल कर दो टाइम है दो टाइम कॉल किया दो टाइम जोड़ लिए तो वहाँ पे वहीं से वहीं से डायरेक्ट सॉल्यूशन नहीं हो जाएगा जो कॉन्टेक्ट होगा उसको इग्नोर कर देंगे और एंड बचेगा तो एंड टाइम ऐसा तो हाँ हम लोग सब शूट कर रहे हैं ना वी आर वी आर लाइक दिस इज अवर � तो जो भी हमको चाहिए वी आर सब शूटिंग इट हम हमको अगर t ऑफ n माइनस वन चाहिए या सब शूटिंग n का जगह पे n माइनस वन हम हमें यहाँ पे अभी क्या चाहिए t ऑफ n माइनस टू चाहिए तो वी आर सब शूटिंग n का जगह पे t ऑफ n माइनस टू तो तो व्हाट इज दिस इक्वेशन गिविंग k प्लस ये इक्वेशन यू फोकस ऑन दिस इक्वेशन सर एक्चुअली and previous line is some uh, thing is problem because uh, first of all you use right uh, t of n and after that k plus as uh, 2 t n minus 1 and then you use right this good but then uh, after that right k plus 2 into 2 into t n minus 2 uh, it is 
next line so it is better because uh, after this okay. line okay let let's yeah. forget this let us forget this so first of all yeah. uh, write series after that uh, reduce format okay fine so yaha pe hum expand karenge uh, so what what will this become like you say so what is this k plus two that, is it possible to make recursion tree for weight and distance yes it is it is possible so uh, the problem with me is i can't uh, use this whiteboard to uh, i mean we have time so maybe i can show you the that is what i'm going to do next once you understand this i wanted to explain why a recursion tree like i hope you understood the stack execution using stack you understood right so i wanted to take an example and explain you the recursion tree Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is the time complexity of two to two by n. It is uh, 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 very good to understanding because yeah. uh, this process continuity uh, till two to two by n and this uh, yeah. the of. So zero. I I just want to make sure like you all agree how we are arriving at order of two power n. So do you all agree or do you understand how this is order of two power n? Yeah, sir. I agree with this. Uh, so I mean, you can uh, so I can expand this uh, and substitute. So what we'll get? This is simple math, right? Two into k, two k, and two into two. I mean, two into two into t of n minus two. That is what I'm writing here. Uh, like two yes. into two into t of n minus two. So this will again go like two t of n minus two. Go if you find out from this equation. You will you will arrive at k plus two into t of n minus two, right? Oh, sorry, n minus three, whatever n minus two. If you should submit in place of n, n minus three. Right? So I mean this is the equation uh, from which we arrived uh, order of two power n. Uh, if you, I mean if you want to uh, do more research, you can note note this equation down. and uh see like anyone anyone wants me to elaborate anything over here hello hello uh, like anyone anyone wants me to elaborate uh, over here or can we move ahead uh sir main kya bolu ye hello mm-hmm. सर पहले तो ये के टी ऑफ एन आफ्टर दैट ये के प्लस टू टी एन माइनस वन ये हुआ उसके बाद जो के है ये इतना हायर प्रायोरिटी नहीं है जो एन माइनस वन से तो टू टी एन माइनस वन ये आएगा और के यहाँ पर प्लस कर जाएगा नेक्स्ट जब आएगा तब के प्लस टू इन टू टू टी एन माइनस वन आएगा यानी जब जहां पर आप लिखा है के प्लस टू टी एन माइनस टू Uh, उस जगह पर आएगा तो उस जगह पर ये प्रायोरिटी हो जाएगा टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टी एन माइनस टू इस प्रोसेस कंटिन्यू चलेगा एन तक तो लास्ट लास्ट पर आएगा टू मल्टीप्लाई होगा एन टाइम्स और उसके साथ टी एन माइनस एन रहेगा तो यानी टी एन माइनस एन जो टी ऑफ जीरो हो जाएगा और यहाँ पर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक हाउ हाउ रिकर्सिव फंक्शन हाउ मच टाइम दे टेक even with a simple change right uh, recursive functions are actually very time consuming at times like right? you have to be very careful when you are designing any code or any program uh, by using recursions we are just calling recursion multiple times and uh, like only two times you are calling and the time complexity has got gone to exponential so this is exponential time complexity which is like the worst Time. So order of n say we we directly jump to exponential by calling recursive function multiple times. So this is very important to understand. So as a homework, you can try uh, 
calculating the time complexity when we have three functions like when we are calling when we call the recursive function thrice instead of three times you can calculate what is the time complexity similarly right you can take it as an uh, homework so now uh, like we have seen uh, analyzing the recursion using stack right like we like here while calculating we have seen like uh, execution stack how execution stack may we have written line numbers and how execution stack may the uh, uh, what do you call the lines are getting executed so now there is also another uh, another basically concept via which we can see how the uh, recursion is getting executed basically that is called uh, execution tree or stack tree we can call uh, so let me give you let me share my board again i'm sure uh, this sir. sir yeah yeah the app stack bg is my stack bol rahe hain kya matlab hua sir stack ka matlab okay this stack ka matlab uh, yahi hai so i was showing you the code right uh, suppose we are calling a of 3 here so a of 3 a of 2 ko call kar raha tha and it was sorry, a of 2 ko call kar raha tha and it was remembering the line number 4 right here if you remember it was remembering the line number 4 and a of 2 again is calling uh, a of 1 and it was remembering like it was executing the line number 4 again so this entire things right uh, this has to be put in some memory right so yahan pe see a of 1 uh, a of 3 call hua and it has printed few lines of code it has executed few lines of code and a of 2 call hua so if you don't store uh, in the memory like you are in line number 4 how how will the program know like it has to execute line number 5 next after after returning from line so see yahan pe a of n minus 1 you are calling but a of n minus 1 in turn is calling a of 1 a of 0 so it is going on until the base condition right so all these things so the entire chain of functions right this has to memorize few things the the current line that it is getting executed and it has to memorize suppose you have some variables uh, in your uh, whatever you have some variables you have some variables written in your uh, function uh, this a of 3 has to memorize an instance of those variables declared in a of 3 a of 2 has also has to remember so everything has to put in some memory right so this memory is basically uh, stack memory why it is stack because सर एक्चुअली अगर आप एक इमेज के द्वारा थोड़ा जो ट्री मॉडल और स्टैक बोल रहे हैं अगर थोड़ा समझा देते तो या दैट्स व्हाट आई एम गेटिंग टू द ट्री आई एम गेटिंग टू द ट्री वंस वी आर डन विद दिस हां एक थोड़ा स्टैक थोड़ा ड्रॉ करके अगर यहां पर समझा देते तो ज्यादा अच्छा रहता या आई विल टेक अ न्यू फ्रेश एग्जांपल व्हिच इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वी विल डिस्कस द ट्री आल्सो लेट मी अनशेयर दे आर कैन आई शो Okay, I'm trying to open the board. Uh, do you still uh, still see my screen? No, sir. No, okay, sir. Fine. Okay, I'm just opening a, a whiteboard. Uh, so there Excuse is me, way. sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, could yeah, you sir, please stay? Excuse me. Hello. Yeah. Now, Ratan, this side. Actually, sir, could you share uh, the document file with us? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, sure, definitely. I'll sure, sure. Yeah, I'll share at the end of the session. Thank you very much. okay 
so uh, there is a very interesting problem so uh, i mean someone in older days right uh, there was a place there is a place basically uh, where someone has built three towers uh, so this is a problem actually and trying to explain what is the problem so in old olden days right, like long long back ago like many centuries ago someone has built uh, three towers basically so the thing is uh, these three towers are made of diamond and uh, uh, these towers are set up such a way uh, there are so there are uh, 64 plates on the tower uh, so let us call this tower a tower b tower c so there are 64 plates sitting on tower a in such a way that all these 64 plates are in descending order of their weight like uh, the heaviest one is at the bottom uh, and the next heaviest is on top of it and next heaviest is on top of it so the weights of all these 64 plates right these are in descending order so the topmost one is the lightest of all the 64 plates and these plates are made of gold fine so the thing is there are few people uh, you can call them few scientists or mathematician they are working out of a solution they want to move all these 64 uh, plates gold plates from tower a to tower b using tower c such a way like uh, i said right like these 64 plates are placed in descending order of their weights that may cannot place higher weight on a lower weight plate so suppose the first weight or the first plate that we have is of higher weight uh, is of lesser weight right that it is the lightest uh, that is sitting on the top so you can't place any uh, other plate on plate because it is the lightest of all so matlab ye sara plates aisa arrange kiya gaya hai ki sabse jyada weight jo plate hai wo sabse niche hai एंड उससे थोड़ा कम वेट वाला ऊपर है एंड उससे थोड़ा कम उसका ऊपर है सो दिस प्लेट्स आर ऑल प्लेस्ड इन सच अ वे दैट दे दे आर इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ देयर वेट्स सो देयर आर सम साइंटिस्ट हु आर वर्किंग आउट टू ट्रांसफर ऑल ऑफ दिस प्लेट्स इन द सेम मैनर लाइक इन द सेम वे एज इट इज टू अ डिफरेंट टावर टावर बी so all the 64 has to sit like suppose we have hand, uh, 64 plates right uh, the, uh, the bottom most plate is 64 kg then 63 kg then 62 then 61 likewise the top most plate is 1 kg right so they are trying to transfer this so the thing is uh, all these plates have to be transferred to tower b like tower b may be there has to be 64 like uh, okay if i yeah uh, so tower b may be what has to be there is 64 63 62 61 it it has to go until 1 so the topmost plate is of 1 kg let us say so the entire thing has to be transferred same as it is to tower b so the uh, the restriction is you can't place one down and two above it because one is a lighter plate and two is a heavier plate if you place like this the one plate will break so that is the reason you can't place lighter heavier plate on top of lighter plate so this is a huge i mean uh, this is a problem that a uh, few scientists have been working out uh, to solve so uh, so to understand the problem statement this is actually called towers of hanoi problem uh, so here the problem statement is simple we have 64 plates uh, which are placed in descending order of their weights in tower and you have to transfer the 64 plates from tower a to tower b using tower c so this this plate like no one has ever been able to solve but uh, we can actually solve this problem using recursion 
so this is where the power of recursion can be uh, like if i draw if i write uh, the code right to solve this problem so the problem statement is simple uh, you have to transfer like let us say uh, trans okay the font is very okay let me open again uh, the docs uh, like the problem statement is clear uh, Okay, I'm sharing my Google Docs again. I hope you can see my Google Docs. Uh, can you see my Google Docs screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So we can actually try uh, solve that problem using recursion. So uh, the problem statement is simple, like uh, transfer. There are n plates, let us say n plates, instead of taking 64, let us generalize and say there are n plates, transfer n plates from tower A, tower A to tower B using tower C, I can say like using tower C. So this is a problem statement. So uh, let us uh, take a simple use case. Uh, I mean, simple or a sub problem. Let us say, uh, like we have. So where is my? Okay. Do you all see the board still uh, that I'm that I was sharing, or the board is not visible to you? Sir, is problem is Sir, is problem is that is sir that is 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 छोटा रेडियस उसके ऊपर उसके बाद छोटा रेडियस उसके ऊपर इस तरह वो बैठा रहेगा उसके बाद जो जब उस टावर से बी टावर पर जाएगा तो नीचे पर जो बड़ा बड़ा रेडियस है वो बी टावर पर पहले रहना चाहिए उसके बाद छोटा इस तरीके से रहना चाहिए और यहां पर सी जो टावर है इस टावर के द्वारा ये सारे के सारे काम होगा Right, n rings you can call and plates you can call from tower A to tower B using tower C, like exactly what you have explained. So this is a problem now. Uh, I mean, uh, we can see what is the power of recursion using this. So, but let us take a simpler example. Suppose we have uh, again, let us let us say tower A. Tower C. Let us say there are three plates in the tower A. So what will you do? Uh, like we can write uh, three, two, one. So there are three plates with uh, weights three kg, two kg, one kg. Three kg is the at the bottom and one kg is the top. So these are all these plates are present in tower A. And you 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 want to transfer these plates as it is three to one to tower B using tower C. So what will you do? One is at the top. What what you can do? You can move one to one to tower C. Tower C, right? This this is possible. Tower C अभी empty है. तो uh, so is this possible? Is this possible or not? Like, can we move uh, plate one? Yes, sir. Plate one to tower C. Yes, sir. कर सकते हैं. तो अभी हमारे tower C में क्या है? We just have one. So next step, what you can do, you can move, you can't move from plate two to tower C because tower C may already one hai, so one ka over you can't keep two. So what is the only option you have? Sir, ta tower B is already empty or not? Yes, yes, it is already empty. Only tower A has this plate. Initially tower B has... Why, why, why you send to the plate, uh, to the tower C? Why not you are 
sending it to power B and sorry, tower B. No, you can do anything. You have to move it to a different tower. That's it. I can use okay. tower C also initially. I mean, initially I can move to tower B and yeah, I can do anything. So you want me to so here uh, our goal is that A se humko tower B mein. This is just a, you can move all the things to tower C also. I'm just defining my goal as moving all the plates from tower A to tower B. So this means that 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 this means अगर पहला वाला निकाल लिया उसके बाद में बी पर रख दूंगा उसके बाद तो सेकंड को निकाल सकते हैं हां वो तो असेंडिंग ऑर्डर हो जाएगा लेकिन तो हम लोग को तो वो नहीं चाहिए हम लोग को डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर पर चाहिए तो इसीलिए सी बोलकर एक टावर है उसके अंदर एक एक करके रखूंगा फिर से उसके अंदर से बी के अंदर डालूंगा ये प्रोसेस एक एक करके सब सब चीज नहीं रखेंगे सी यहां पे हमारा रिस्ट्रिक्शन है ना 1 के ऊपर 2 को नहीं रख सकते हां सर यही तो हां so abhi hamara paas ek hi cheez bacha hai we have to move two to tower b right yes you plate, plate two to tower b yeah all are full tower b so now all are full but you can move one plate ko you can move to tower uh, b right abhi tower b mein kya yeah hai? yeah now 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 we can move one to tower b yeah right sir. tower b so now tower B is 2, so we can keep 1 on 2. So what do we want to do? Move plate 1 to tower B. So now our B, B, B looks like this. 2, yeah, and now, now C is empty. C is empty, yeah. So here, do you see a pattern? Like initially, our हमारे पास तीन प्लेट्स था three two one now it is two one right and next uh, I mean if this is order of three this is order of two isn't it yes so this is actually if you call it order of n this is order of n minus one right so now, uh, yeah, so now what you can do, you can move, uh, yeah, again coming here, move a uh, plate. 3 to power C. Plate 1 to tower B. So now tower B, may, uh, this is what we are seeing. Now what, what you can do, you can again move. Uh, uh, plate 3 to tower C. Right, sir? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so what you can do is you can move plate uh, plates two and one to tower C, and then you can move plate three to tower B. Then you move like like. Yeah, अच्छा ऐसा condition नहीं है कि मतलब एक साथ रख सक एक एक करके रखना था ना sir? Yeah yeah एक एक करके ही रखेंगे but this is the order of two right? Like ये हम लोग already higher order को solve किया solve कर रहे हैं. Uh, now this is this is like a sub problem. Uh, see, here three ka upar you can keep two as well as one. Anything you yes. can keep. Anything out of these two you can keep. So it is as good as you don't have anything. Right? Mm -hmm. Sir, ek kam kar sakte yahan par. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Go. Sir, uh, uh, three three number jo plate hai, wo, uh, tower A par hai. Theek hai na? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To ham log, uh, uh, tower B से one tower A पर रखेंगे और tower B से two C पर रखेंगे सर रखिए एक बार okay three से you are keeping one here और two C पर ठीक है okay इसके बाद tower A से one uh, C पर yeah हाँ then it will become yeah that is fine. Yeah, you, you have to move three. Uh, three को यहाँ पे move करेगा. उसके बाद one A पर जाएगा और C से two uh, B yeah, पर जाएगा. Yeah. That, that is fine. Se. I got it. I got it. So what I'm trying to explain is not that actually. So write down what we have done. So can you put uh, three के ऊपर two को रख पाएगा? You can, right? Like I mean, three can hold anything because three is the maximum weight that we have. 
तो इट इज एज गुड एज है हमारे पास तब भी इट इट द थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू डू इज सेम राइट लाइक इफ यू वांट टू इफ यू वांट इफ यू वांट टू मूव टू कॉमा 1 टू टावर सी यूजिंग ए इट इज एज गुड एज थ्री है या नहीं इट इट डजंट मैटर अस मैटर डजंट मैटर अस यस इनिशियली हमारा प्रॉब्लम ये था नाउ वॉट वी आर वॉट वी आर फेसिंग अवर प्रॉब्लम इज ट्रांसफर इन माइनस वन प्लेट फ्रॉम टावर बी टू टावर सी राइट ओके टावर बी टू टावर सी using tower a tower a. fine so ultimately what 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 it will look like we do this like transfer n minus 1 uh-huh. creates from tower b to tower c using a what what does it look like uh, it looks like 2 comma 1 mm-hmm. then what yes. we can do we can just put uh, these plates from tower A A say to tower B. Yeah. Uh, then we can move two comma one to tower B. Once on again, C to yeah. B. Yeah. Using A, right? So it boils down to transfer of uh, yeah transfer one plate or the yeah you can call one plate. One plate from tower A से लेकर tower B में रखना है। So we don't have to use any because this is only single plate, right? We can put directly. Then we have to transfer n minus one plates. From tower C to tower B, right? Tower B using tower A. We have to use tower A because we have two plates. We can't move both together, right? Tower A. So now again, uh, like you are clear why we got this. Yes, sir. So again, like start freshly start clearing it. So we have three to one. So हम लोग क्या कर रहे थे? We are uh, we were moving. So one is at the top. We were moving one to C, and then moving plate two to B, then moving plate one to uh, P. So बाद में हमारा plates were looking like this, right? so yes and then what we were doing we were moving so it is as good as order of n minus 1 like i explained three ke upar you can keep two as well as one so it is as good as we don't have three so now the problem is boil boiling down to order of n minus 1 like order of two so we have three so yahan pe we want to move or uh, plates 2 comma 1 to tower c somehow we want to move using tower a and then we want to move so this is what we are doing moving n minus 1 plates from tower b to tower c right using tower a and then transfer the remaining one plate from tower a to tower b and then transfer the remaining 2 comma 1 which is in tower c n minus 1 plates from tower c to tower b using a so this is this is actually a recursive function so yaha pe what is our base condition so when when we have all the plates completed right so as long as we are if if we have only one plate we don't have to do right so jab tak hamara last mein ek plate bachega that is that has to be the least weight weighted plate so we can directly put it on the top when n greater than 1 we have to do this
else we just have to transfer that one plate this is actually a recursive function uh, i mean don't uh, don't worry about the syntax or uh, syntax here this is just a function that i'm writing but uh, this problem right the, this problem is actually a very famous problem called uh, the towers of hanoi uh, which is very famous and this is actually simply can be solved using recursion so i wanted to show you how the recursion tree for this problem looks like uh but this seems like a lot of time not right now but uh maybe if we get a chance to have another session we can definitely try or as a homework you can try so i'll just uh sim i mean just write a basic uh recursion tree for this okay let me stop sharing okay uh i just opened a black oh uh, sorry white book okay so now uh, like we have seen right uh, we have started with order of n problem or we can call it towers of n or uh, okay so we have started with towers Sir, of n yahan par likhne ke liye aap uh, text okay. use kar sakte hain yeah but that was very uh, small so sare ke sare screen cover nahi hoga नहीं नहीं वहां पे टेक्स्ट द प्रॉब्लम वाज द टेक्स्ट फॉन्ट इज वेरी स्मॉल आई कांट एडिट टेक्स्ट सो दैट्स अ रीजन आई एम यूजिंग दिस आई हैव टू एक्सपैंड इट अगेन ठीक है फाइंड रीड इट राइट सर ज़ूम का वाइट बोर्ड मत यूज करो ना वो आप डाउन करके नीचे लेके रहे तो जो लोग ऊपर की स्लाइड पे रह रहे तो वो अभी भी ऊपर की स्लाइड पे रह रहे उनको डाउन करना भूल जा रहे हो तो आप गूगल का यूज कर कहां पे सर लास्ट क्वेश्चन में आपने जो टावर्स बनाए थे नीचे तो बहुत हाँ, सारा हाँ, टावर ही नहीं दिखा था क्योंकि आपने नीचे बना दिए थे तो हम लोग ने स्क्रॉल नहीं किया हां सर देख नहीं पाया ओ ओके तो आप गूगल गूगल का सर गूगल पे सर्च करेंगे तो वहां पे आपको व्हाइट बोर्ड मिल जाएगा तो वो सिर्फ आपके कंट्रोल में रहेगा ये हमारे कंट्रोल में भी हम लोग मूव कर सकते हैं एडिट कर सकते हैं फाइन फाइन या मे बी कैन शेयर दैट थैंक यू सर